Hi, it's Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just looking at a couple of new changes with a new firmware update that has just been released for your TwoNav GPS device. So this firmware, 5.80, is for the Cross Plus, the Terra, and the Adventurer 2 units. We've been working very closely with TwoNav and we're so pleased to see after making a suggestion just a couple of weeks ago about something that would make things easier with one of the functions, they've implemented it already. And we've also got an improvement to the way British National Grid references are displayed with this new firmware update. So I'm just going to show you how you can check what firmware you're on first and actually do the update if you haven't had an automatic prompt. I'm using the Cross Plus device today. It's exactly the same in the Terra or the Adventurer 2 Plus. You go to your main menu and I just want to make sure in settings that I've got Wi-Fi turned on because that's how we receive the updates. It's got activate Wi-Fi at the top. Little blue tab tells me it's turned on. If I turned it off, we'd have a grey tab when I touch on the blue tab in the top right. That would turn it off. So normally I have it turned off when I'm not using it, but I'm going to turn it on just to check for updates and then I can turn it off when I'm finished. So you make sure you've got your Wi-Fi um, connected so it's showing me my shepherd's walks and it's connecting to it if you haven't already connected it to your Wi-Fi you can select choose network and just put your Wi-Fi password in so I'm just going to come out of here now and back to the main menu so I'm going to go back into settings now so from the main menu back into settings and I'm going to select the option system and we're looking for the very top option about where it is update report and reset. If I tap on there, if you've got 5.80 at the top, you have the latest version. RC7's just because I had a beta version that was released earlier than the public version just so we could test it for 2NAV, but you would have 5.80. If you've got the older version, it'll say 5.75 and you simply click on software update and give it a couple of minutes to check. I have found occasionally I have to do that a couple of times depending on my Wi-Fi speed and then you should just get a prompt saying there's a software update to install if you haven't got the 5.80 so you touch on it to install and then once it's installed you'll just get a prompt to turn your unit on and off. Make sure you've got good battery when you're doing a software update you need ideally at least 20% battery. Once that update's completed, I'll show you a couple of the new features that have been added. So I'm just going to close this down and go on to the map screen. So the first thing that we mentioned to 2NAV was if you want to mark a waypoint where you are and then maybe change the grid reference to something further away to save what we call remote waypoints in the unit, the way that we do that before the software update when you actually tap on your map screen, you've got this icon at the top right. It's like a little pin with a, uh, a pencil. So if I touch on that, that will allow me to mark a waypoint. That works absolutely fine. But what we found is, if you didn't have a satellite signal, now this is the way it was meant to work, without a satellite signal, you wouldn't have that pin. It would be there, but it'd be greyed out. It wouldn't let you use it. And we had explained to TuneNav that a lot of customers might want to mark waypoints when they're sitting at home by typing in grid references for somewhere much further away. The other way you could mark a waypoint on the unit if you wanted to tap something to navigate to, you can hold down on the screen until you get a pin symbol. But we found sometimes if your hands were wet and I don't know, you're outside and you're trying to mark it exactly on the map, getting that pin up sometimes didn't work straight away. So this is what we've actually added now to the unit with the new firmware. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got a satellite signal and it's not allowing you to use that pin symbol. What you can actually do now on any of the units, when you're on the map screen, tap on the three white dots, bottom right, and you've got an option called pin mode. So if you now select pin mode, so you've got the new 5.80, I've now got a pin on the screen, but I can tap the pin wherever I want it. So that's fine, it just brings up the pin quickly. And then you've got the options where I can touch on the three white dots and say navigate here, just to draw a straight line, create a waypoint here. But what's nice, it doesn't matter where that pin appears, because when you select create waypoint here, you get the option then to change the name. 
So you can type in a different name. It could be a checkpoint you're marking for an event that you're doing and you're going to mark it somewhere much further away. But you just want to do them in the unit before you go. So I could call this one um, CQ for Coke It. I might be doing an event. Um, I'm just going to pick something at random here. We have an event called the Coke It Challenge that we do with GPS training. And then I'll call it CP1. I can bring up the numbers by tapping on the little number icon and then I've just basically changed the name and tap on OK. But the nice thing is I can change icon, put a description in, but I can go down to the grid reference now and where it's got the X coordinate, so your Eastings as you go along the map, I can type in a new number and maybe I want to change that number to be somewhere else. I can delete it out and put a whole new number in. Just going to cancel that but it's just to give you an idea you can basically tap on the x and y put in a new grid reference it doesn't have to be where you are you might just have a list of grid references you're putting in out of a guidebook we can change the sheet number so nu that's the blue letters that i see at the top of my map so depending what map sheet number you need to enter then you simply tick it and tick it again to save it and that's now saved that waypoint and then if you want to do another one you can simply tap on it sorry I need to cancel that first my apologies cross at the bottom of the screen to cancel that pin mode and then it would just be the three white dots again pin mode and then you can just tap on the screen doesn't matter where the pin is I mean don't get wrong if you want to navigate to that point um, you would um, select the navigate to but wherever that pins marked all I'm going to do is touch on the three dots again say create waypoint here but then I'm going, going to go in and change the name change the coordinates and then save it and then I can keep doing that to add waypoints in the unit so I've got waypoints marked to use in the future so I'm just going to come back out of here now and I'm just going to say okay to cancel that so that is the first thing we've done I must remember which I did forget earlier on in the video when you're finished with that first second one as you keep doing them it's the little white cross at the bottom left so it's just a nice new feature because we found that pin was greyed out at the top of the map if you didn't have a satellite signal and there could be that scenario where you're inside the building at home wanting to mark some waypoints further ahead of where you are and you're not able to use that tool but you can now use that pin mode. The other thing we've done, I'm just going to tap on the status bar at the top and scroll down to GPS so we can see my grid reference and go into satellite status. At the bottom of the screen here, I've got a grid reference, NU, it's a 10 figure Ordnance Survey grid reference, 06348 01695. The way the two have worked before the firmware update, it showed you a 10 figure grid reference, but if the first number began with a zero, we did cover this on the online training course videos, the zero wasn't displayed. So we did mention on the online course videos, it was very important when you were looking at a grid reference, if you only had four numbers, you had to add the zero at the front. That was a little bit of an error on TuneNav's part. They hadn't realized that really we should have the zeros there because that first number 06 yet is telling me it's box 06. So without that zero, you may have thought it was a four figure reference box 63 as you go along the map. So it's nice to see after we noticed that and advised them that we needed to have the zeros displayed on the new firmware update, you now have the zero. So we have a full 10 figure reference. So we hope you found this video useful on the new firmware update that you can do on your TuNav GPS device. Just remember on the online training course that you get access to when you've purchased the TuNav from us, there's loads of videos on there. We've got quite a few more to add. We're working on them as quick as we can. So we thank everyone for that patience. There will be in the coming weeks a lot more videos on utilizing waypoints and how you can use waypoints. But we thought it was nice to give you a sneak preview of the new tool that's been added with the pin mode from the map with the new firmware update. And thanks for your support.